What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today I just wanted to share this quick tip of how we can connect our cloth to an object right here you see me with the character so that it attaches and so that we have cloth dynamics with our animations. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So starting off, you can see I have a simple scene built out inside of Cinema 4D. I have Sidelock from the X-Men and I have her with this cloth coming off her back here. So to get this attached, the first thing I wanna do is come over here to where we have cloth selected inside of our objects panel I'm going to come over here to tags and then I'm going to come down here to simulation tags. Now, let me actually break this out so that we can see what's happening better. So right here where we have all of our cloth tags here, I'm going to come down here first to where it says cloth belt. So I'm going to left click on this and then over here, you can see now we have a tag for cloth belt. And before we move on to the attributes, I'm also going to come back over here and I'm going to add a cloth tag as well. So now connected to my cloth, I have a cloth tag and I have a cloth belt. So what I want to do now is I'm going to zoom in to the part that I want connected to our mesh. So if I come up here at the top and I'm going to click on points and I'm going to exit this out here. And now you can see inside of our viewpoints, we're inside of our point view. So I'm going to actually hide our character here so that we can see just our cloth that we want to have selected. And I'm going to come over here in the top left hand corner and I'm going to do a rectangle selection because I want to select the points that I want to have connected to our mesh. Now down here in the lower right hand corner under attributes, you might notice that we have this box here that says visible only. I'm going to make sure that this is clicked off because if I hold down the left click in my viewport and I just select here. So I selected these rows right here and you'll see on the backhand side, it also selected these points here as well. So if I would have had this selected, it would only select the visible points that you see here. So that's a good way to make sure that everything extruded to the next side is going to get selected as well. Now, if I bring back in my character and let's just move over here to the back side where the knots at. So you can see now this is the part of the cloth that's actually touching the belt here, which is what we want connected. So to make sure that this does connect to the mesh, we're gonna come back over here to where we have our cloth belt tag. We're gonna left click on this. And down here, we have this section called belt on. Now, if I left click and select my character and drag her into the belt on, and then I click on set. Now you can see that we have a lot of yellow dots in here. And if we look in really close, you can see that we have these lines coming here and these lines are showing where this cloth is going to connect with our character. So if I zoom back here and let's just go back into our full mode here into our model mode. And if I come down here under cloth, I'm going to come down under cache and I'm just going to cache the scene and watch how this is going to actually hit our character. But actually first, before we do that, we want to add a collider to our character as well so that our cloth is going to collide with our character because we already have it on the floor here. So I'm going to click on my character, come over here to tags come down here to simulation tags drag this over and I'm just going to use the one down here that's called collider so select this now I'm going to come back over here to my cloth down here under cache and where it says cache scene I'm going to select this and just give it a few moments to cache out and there we go so now if I click on play you can see now we have our cloth dangling it's going against her shin there it's hitting along the ground and we just have a nice cloth simulation connected to our character now I just use the default here if I come over here down the surface inside of my attributes panel you, of course you could come in here and you could change out all your attributes for like bendiness stetchiness bounciness friction etc even our thickness down here but I at least just want to give you this quick tip on how you can connect your cloth to your character in case that's something that you need to do so hopefully this quick tip helped you guys out. If you have any tips out there for Cinema 40, make sure you leave them down in the comments down below. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.